and welcome to another video to learn how to read the wonderful Latin language. Today's video will tell you about how to read second declension neuter nouns and adjectives. We'll start with neuter nouns and then we will move on to the adjectives that modify these neuter nouns. As you know, all Latin nouns are grouped into five declensions. You've already learned about the first and second declension or at least the masculine and feminine nouns in these declensions. So today we'll learn about the neuter nouns in the second declension. Just like all your other nouns that you've learned, the dictionary entries for our second declension neuter nouns will have our nominative singular form, our genitive singular form, and the gender. First declension nouns have that AE in the genitive singular, whether they're feminine or masculine. Second declension nouns have an I in the genitive singular ending, whether they are masculine or neuter. So we learned the declension, that set of noun endings, to add to our base from our genitive singular form, whatever that ending is. The AE tells us its first declension and an I tells us its second declension. The gender we have to learn from our dictionary entry and just memorize it because that's never going to change for our noun. So let's look at the endings for our second declension. We've already learned our second declension masculine noun endings. Here they are. These are the ones that you add to your base. Many of these endings will not change for our second declension neuter nouns. So what are the ones that change? Well, here they are, they're shown in purple. The nominative singular neuter form will be a UM. The genitive form will be an I, just like for masculine nouns. The dative singular will be an O, just like for masculine nouns. The accusative singular form will be a UM, just like masculine nouns. The ablative singular form will be an O, just like for masculine nouns. The vocative singular will be a UM. The nominative plural will be an A. In fact, all neuter nouns, whether they are in second declension, third declension, or fourth declension, have a UA, uh, or sorry, an A as their nominative plural ending. The genitive plural second declension neuter form or ending is in ORUM. The dative is IS. The accusative plural is an A, and that is true for all declensions of neuter nouns, second, third, and fourth. The ablative plural is an IS, and the vocative plural is an A. You may have noticed that there's only three cases that have different forms, nominative, accusative, and vocative, and they have the exact same form. Some people even refer to this as the neuter rule, that the nominative form will be exactly the same as the accusative form, which is exactly the same as the vocative form. It's only the number that's different. The singular second declension neuter nouns are UM in these three cases, and the second declension neuter nouns are ending in an A if they are plural. So let's look at how we decline one of these nouns. Let's use the vocab word otium, O-T-E, a neuter noun meaning leisure, as our example. Just like all nouns, you have your two free forms from the dictionary entry. Otium is your nominative singular, and O-T-E is your genitive singular. Now we need to decline our noun just like we decline all our other nouns. We take the base, and then we add our case and number endings. To determine our base, we do it exactly how we did it for the first and second declension nouns. You take your genitive singular form and remove the genitive singular ending, the I. And then you get the base for this word, otium, as OT. And then we'll add our endings. So let's do that. Dative will be OTO, accusative singular will be OTUM, the ablative singular will be OTO, the vocative singular will be OTUM, 
Notice that the nominative, accusative, and vocative all have the same endings. The nominative plural will have that nominative plural neuter a. The genitive plural otiorum has the orum ending. The dative plural otis has that second declension is ending. The neuter accusative plural otia looks exactly like our nominative plural otia with that neuter plural a. The ablative plural otis and the vocative plural OTA. Notice how we have the exact same forms in our nominative, accusative, and vocative singular, as well as the exact same forms OTA in our nominative plural, accusative plural, and vocative plural forms. That is thanks to our wonderful neuter rule. Now it's your turn. Take another vocabulary word, periculum periculi, meaning danger, and decline it as another second declension neuter noun. Pause the video and then resume once you have completed this chart. Please use this chart to check your answers to make sure that you're correct and change the ones that you don't have correct so that you have accurate notes going forward. Now, let's talk about second declension neuter adjectives. As you know, an adjective is a word that describes a noun. Latin nouns and adjectives have gendered numbers and cases. So, to show that a Latin adjective modifies a noun, the noun and adjective agree in gender, number, and case. They get the gender, number, and case from the noun. The adjective just sort of borrows it to show that it modifies the noun in the sentence. So let's demonstrate this and figure out how to decline an adjective by looking at the example um, that we already have. Um, as you remember, there are two sets of declensions, first and second declension adjectives and third declension adjectives. The first and second declension adjectives have an A, U, S, and U, M ending in our dictionary entry, though dictionary entries for adjectives go in that pattern of masculine singular, feminine singular, and then neuter singular nominative. So you'd see it as magnus, magna, magnum that magnum form would be what we'd use to describe a neuter singular nominative adjective. Or, sorry, to describe a neuter singular nominative noun. So let's do that. Let's add an adjective to a second declension neuter noun. Let's use the adjective to us, to a to um, to modify our adjective otium, ote, that we've already declined. As I was just saying, you get your free form from your dictionary entry that tuum is your neuter singular nominative, so you can just drop that down into your chart. Now we have to decline our adjective. To do that, you do it just how you decline your masculine and feminine forms of your adjectives. You take your base and you add your case and number endings. To get your base, you need to do it just how you did it for masculine and feminine adjectives. You take your feminine singular nominative form and remove your feminine singular nominative ending, that A. So you get the base of two. You can add that to your chart for all of your nouns that it will be modifying. Now that you have your base, you add your case and number endings. These, because otium, ote, is neuter, and to us, to a, to um, is a first and second declension adjective, will be the second declension neuter case and number endings. So, ote, to e in the genitive, oto, to o in the dative, otium, to um in the accusative, oto, to o in the ablative, otium, to um in the vocative, Otia tua in the nominative plural, otiorum tuorum in the genitive plural, 
OTEs tuis in the dative plural, OTEA tua in the accusative plural, and the ablative plural will have OTEs tuis, and last but not least, OTEA tua in the vocative plural. You'll have noticed that the nominative, accusative, and vocative forms all have that same pattern, that otium tuum, because of our nice neuter rule, where the accusative and vocative look exactly like your nominative, and then otia tua is the same in these three cases, again, because of that nice neuter rule of otia tua being the same in the accusative and vocative because that's what our nominative form is. So rather than having you practice this with declining another noun and another adjective, let's look at it in the sentence that I showed you very, very briefly. Our sentence, meum otium sine magno periculo me satiat. The first question, since we're talking about second declension neuter nouns, are what case are our second declension neuter nouns in the sentence? You know they're second declension neuter nouns because they're the ones that we used as our examples. You're right. If you said that otium is our neuter nominative singular form, so it will be the subject, and periculo is neuter ablative singular form with that O ending. It's ablative because it's the object of a preposition. The next question is to take that adjective we briefly talked about, magnus, magna, magnum, and see that, hey, there's a form of it here, magno. So what noun does this adjective magno modify? You're right if you said that it modifies periculo because they are both neuter, ablative, and singular, that magno's taking these three qualities from the or noun periculo. Now, what about the other adjective in this sentence, meum? What noun does meum modify? You're right if you said that meum modifies otium because they are both neuter, nominative, and singular. So now, how do we translate this sentence? You're right if you said that it's my leisure without great danger satisfies me. Remember when we translate, we use the English word order as directed to us by our cases in Latin. So that English word order of subject, verb, object. Our subject, meum otium, is my leisure. And then sine magno periculo seems to be describing our meum otium. So it makes sense to put right after our my leisure in English. So my leisure without great danger. So we have our subject, now we need our verb, satiat, satisfies, and then our object, may, me. So my leisure without great danger satisfies me. Now it's your turn to practice with second declension neuter nouns. First, decline the noun donum doni, and then modify it with the adjective bonus bona bonum. After that, parse these five nouns. Once you are complete with this exercise, call me over and I will check your work. Once it's all correct, I will tell you your next task. If you are uncertain, in about anything, you can call me over, ask questions, or look back at earlier parts of the video.